The Branson community is mourning the loss of former theater owner and National Fiddle Hall of Famer Soji Tabuchi. The well-known Branson performer died of cancer. He was just 79 years old. Michael Hoffman joins us live in the studio with reactions from performers and friends. Michael. Francis Shoji Tabuchi is dubbed by many as the king of Branson. With sold out shows, packed parking lots, and the coolest bathrooms in the show business, to say he was loved would be an understatement. And to say his influence will stay in Branson, Missouri for generations to come would be fact. And now here is Shoji Tabuchi with a little country music medley. Take it, Shoji. Shoji Tabuchi. He started his musical career in Osaka, Japan, and ended up here in Branson, Missouri. First of all, he was an incredibly talented violinist. He was Japanese here in the Ozark Mountains. You know, the way that he talked to people, the way that he related to people, it was just, it was utterly unique. But then it was surrounded by this mystique, and he, he became this legend. I mean, it became, it became the thing. Shoji took many performers under his wing, including the Hey Goods. They started performing in Silver Dollar City in the early 90s, and one night they saw Shoji in the crowd watching. We had seen his live performance. We knew the legend of him. And the fact that he took the time to sit there and that we were able to meet him after the show, he was encouraging to us. He was kind. He, 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 he just really built us up. Even though we were just this, you know, this little fiddle show at the time, we never forgot that. And it was because of his influence on us that we built our production to where it is today. Others, like Branson ambassador to the performers, Marshall Howden, knew Shoji well and was saddened to hear of his passing. Tremendous sadness, but also we've been losing so many of our Branson icons in the last few years, you know, and so um, it just kind of compounds, but there, there's a heaviness on my heart, but there's also such a deep appreciation for what they built. Howden says that through all the glitz and glamour and fame and fortune, Shoji never lost sight of who he was. Um, whether it's the Hay Goods or, or you name it, Shoji was there to kind of fulfill that role of the ambassador that he was, you know, kind of in the role that I serve in now, but he was that for many, many years. So it just speaks to the tremendous character that he had and also the family that, that he built here in Branson. And as many will tell you. There will never be another Shoji Tabuchi. Now, August 31st is already Shoji, Dorothy, and Christina Tabuchi Day, and I'm told by representatives of the city of Branson that there will be a memorial in Branson on the 31st. Francis? Michael, thank you so much.